Uh, Jay, I'm Mario, uh, coach of the Villa Blanca Volcanoes, and today I'm gonna uh, show you uh, the power rankings of Yuba, mm, the FAM Paldea Tournament, Yuba Division, with uh, my guest, uh, the coach of the Dallas Dura Duraldons. Uh, quick, say hi, quick. <laughs> hey guys. Well, <laughs> Uh, hi, uh, we made a, a power rankings and we made a, an average of the, the teams of the, of the rankings and we are going to show you the, the tier list, the final tier list and make some comments uh, about your teams. Uh, starting with the team that I put in 15th place. Um, quick in, in last place uh, the Sinabar Cinderace uh, I'm gonna uh, find in the dock Sinabar Cinderace mm. are here well uh, Sinabar Cinderace uh, they have uh, Cinderace, Reg Regidrago Iron Threads, Staraptor, Brilum, Iron Valiant, Soror, Fletching, Kroagun, and Sea Viper. Thoughts? <laughs> All right. So, my first thoughts when I saw this team was wow, this team is very physically heavy. Um, one of the main gripes I have with this team is there are not many defensive switch ins. Like, your bulkiest Pokemon is going to be Iron Treads, but in terms of switching around, uh, Reggie Drago doesn't want to come in on a lot of moves. Um, Iron Valiant is frail. Berloom, Staraptor, Cinderace, and Zoroark are all, all pretty frail. They all like holding the Focus Sash item, so item versatility is not going to be your favorite thing in the world. You do have Fletchling for speed control and also Staraptor for Tailwind, but I also don't see a Trickromancer on this team. You have Krogunk for Fake Out, and that's that's about it. Um, obviously, this team does have some power to it. There is a lot, a lot of offense in this team. Reggie Drago and Iron Valiant especially stick out to me. Um, those two are a little hard to prep for, but opposing fake out is very good into this team. It's kind of easy to stop this team from doing what it wants to do. Cause like if you just set up trick room, if you just get your main offensive pieces going, you can halt this team pretty quickly. And also um finishing off well, while the Dragon Fairy Steel Core is pretty solid, um, there's no water type on this team. And in my eyes, water is the, uh, the most important type to draft while, uh, while making a team. So, yeah. Yeah. For me, first uh, thing that comes to mind is that this team needs a, a real prankster Tailwind. Uh, fletching is not uh, an option. <laughs> uh, you can stop it with a fake out or, and well, uh, like uh, Talonflame or or Tornadus. You can put it a uh, cover cloak, and they are still too fast to to set up a uh, Tailwind before you can stop uh, the threats. But uh, Cinderace, Regi, Regi Drago, uh, Iron Valiant. They are mm, too powerful, but I don't think that they need. They have the tools to put them in in work, like like they could. So I, th I think uh, uh, I think other thing that I put it's that the thing did did seem uh, hasn't got any. Trick room answers. If you set up 
uh, Trick Room against uh, the Cinnabars in the race, what they do? Um, they have, I think, Iron Valiant gets Trick Room, but other than that, they're you but, can't stop Trick Room from going up. But not not in prison, right? It doesn't get in prison. I don't mm -hmm. think. Well, let me check that actually. Mm -hmm. Well, well, quick is uh, checking that. <laughs> We can go to the next. Oh. It actually does. It does? Oh, didn't know. But on Iron Valley, most of the time, you'll be wanting to run offense or support rather than um, imprison Trick Room for two of your move, move slots on such a versatile and powerful Pokemon. Yes. Booster Energy, uh, Focus Sass, or the the fantastic Mirror Rare, <laughs> like you did. <laughs> <laughs> are the best items for, for Iron Violet. <laughs> well, right. next uh, we have with 13.5, uh, 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 I think it's the next, yes, because I put it in last place and you put it in uh, 11th. Are the Cleveland uh, Dupiders? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna put in. See, uh, I think this a thing that should make trades, and you can start. Well, I'm putting in the tier list. All right. So when I look at this team, I see two things. I see Urshifu, and I see Golden Go. Um, <laughs> I, I would say. Most of the other pieces of this team don't really stick out in particular to me. Uh, speed control on this team is... Uh, I, I think it's struggling a little bit. You have Persian for Icy Wind. Um, I don't think Electrode gets Electro Web unless nope. it's a Hisuian thing. Right. Um, Altaria gets Tailwind. And um, that's it for speed control. Altaria is not the best mod. You don't want to be bringing it every week just for speed control. Yeah. I do like the bulk aspect on this team. It's really pretty nice. And the type cores are pretty solid. You've got a good fire, water, grass, and uh, Pyroar, Tauros, and Electrode. And uh, yeah, Florges and Golden Go has pretty good defensive synergy um, I do think this team will be relying a lot on Persian for most of the support yeah um, yeah and another thing with this team but all although not as prevalent uh, focus Ash is an item wanting to be used by Urshifu and maybe Altaria if it's as a Tailwind, I'm not quite sure, but Electrode and Persian uh, both do want to hold that Focus Sash item. Yes, I, I agree. Yeah, that's all I have to say about the team. Yeah. Uh, for me, the first thing that surprised me when we, are, we were making uh, well, I don't know how to say it, we're, we're making the where we are drafting <laughs> is that The two first pick are two fighting types, uh, and two in the mm, same tier, uh, speed tier, I mean, and no speed control, like like you said. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's a thing that for me is very weird. I don't see, mm -hmm. uh, well, Goldengo and Tauros Aqua are a, a good offensive core. But their speed tier is not the, the best, are not the fastest, are not the slowest to, to work in Trick Room. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't see uh, synergy. But yeah, it has 
uh, water fire grass core I uh, think uh, <laughs> not good one for me uh, I don't know what are yeah. doing Alomomola Alo here <laughs> <laughs> don't know what, what this mom do exactly but well <laughs> we will hey, see that's good that's good so he has the surprise factor when y'all yeah <laughs> of course <laughs> bring along <Aloma> more <laughs> well we can pass to the to the next that are the los angeles los angeles gravelers uh mm -hmm. with uh well i put them in 12th and you in 14th why mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, well, for starters, the the fastest thing on this team is Vigoroth at base 90. Then you drop all the way down to base 65 with Braviary. And, okay, I understand you're going for a hard trick room. But not having any fast options just allows your opponent to run all attack boosting natures. Um, they can run choice band or choice specs to one shot your trick room setters. Um, you have one fake out Pokemon in Sableye to stop your opponent from doing what they want to do. And obviously, you do have uh, priority prevention with Farigarath. So you can prevent your opponent's fake out. But um, Among Us for redirection, obviously you can just run uh, safety goggles and still one-shot the Furigarath or one-shot the Sableye trying to set up Trick Room. Um, this team has, I would say, two really powerful offensive hitters in King Gambit and Sylveon. Um, but this team takes a while to get going, and, like, there's also no water type. I just noticed that. Wow. Um, but, yeah. Um, if your opponent has imprisoned Trick Room, I would say good luck. <laughs> <laughs> One well, thing about the, the water types this uh, generation... Is that the the skull? Uh, what the lost? They lost the skull, and yeah. they are almost all physical attackers. Mm -hmm. well, although they can have uh, things like uh, the walking wake uh, attack, uh, the hydro steam, hydro steam, uh, snipe shot in Inteleon or or water mm -hmm. pledge, but. Hydro Pump is not a, a move in you can trust. And <laughs> right. I'm, I think in the last two or three drafts, I mean, I, don't, I didn't take a, a water type. I, I think that is, is a, one of the better types, but with the Terra Crystallization, <laughs> or with the Terras, yeah. uh, you can Terra into Water Type, uh, another mom. That's true. But it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a good uh, switching for many attacks and to have a good Water Fire Grass Core, that some things is uh, missing here, like we say. Uh, mm -hmm. For me, I, I agree. King Gambit and Sylveon are very good heavy hitters, are very bulky, and with Terra are very threatening. Uh, Pirate with Amungus, uh, with Sableye, uh, that could have, uh, they can have a Quash uh, as a speed control, and Farigiraf, and also uh, Ampharos have. Uh, Cotton Spore, I think uh, it's a Cotton Spore, that reduce mm -hmm. the both opponents' uh, speed in two levels. But oh, that's cool. I didn't I, know that. I used, I used Amfaro, Amfaros in uh, BDSP 
a draft and it's, it's surprisingly good. Nice. I have a <coughs> nice coverage with Dazzling Ling and Power Gem uh, mm -hmm. with the, the electric uh, coverage. The steel mm -hmm. types uh, walls you, but. <laughs> It's still a very good pick. Uh, yes. And I think that's all for me. Uh, well, uh, they don't have a fast mod, like I would say. It's a very hard trick room team. And, mm. well, we can move for the next. That It's a, a tie between two teams. Uh, we start with the team that we put in, I, I put in 13th and you put in 12th, the Dino Nuggets. Uh, ah. That is tied with the Orange uh, County Osawats, that I put it in 14th and you put in 9th. So, <laughs> very different opinions about this team. Let's start with uh, Dino Nuggets. All right. Dino Nuggets. Here. You can kick us off for that team. Uh, here. Dino Nuggets there is the one, the first pick go with uh, Muscarada, Enamorous, Hydreigon, uh, Sloping Galar, Bishar, Bruxis, Spirit on Brexion, Miss Magius, and Ductrio Alola. The, the dark team. The dark team. What's uh, your thoughts about the Dino, Dino Nuggets? Right. So, oh my gosh. Um, the main thing that stuck out to me when looking at this team, yes, you do have four, <laughs> four dark types. Four. Uh, um, <laughs> which, wow. Four dark types is really something. Um, which makes Prankster not very good against this team, but right. not all teams do have Prankster. Um, when I first looked at this team, I was really not sure what to think of it. Because um, Enamorous, uh, I'm going to be honest, I still really don't know what it does. I know it gets... Contrary, it gets Boom Blast and Earth Power, and it gets, uh, I think it's base 106 speed, but it's it's fast. Um, and in general, the rest of this team is too. Like, you have Miascarada at uh, 123 speed, you have Enamorous at 106, Hydreigon at 98, and... Um, just Miss Magius and Doug Trio at 105 and 100 or 110. 110. Yeah. But the rest of this team, like, there are two middling speed tiers in Bruxish and Basharp. And then you get Sloking, Spiritum, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's your Trick Room mode. So, in general, I think if Trick Room does go up, this team is going to have a difficult time. Um, this team really likes the Focus Sash. Miascarada, Enamorous, Miss Magius, and Doug Trio. So if your opponent gets a Tailwind before you do, um, then you're not going to have a fun time. I really do like the um, Dragon Fairy Steel Core on this team. Enamorous, Hydreigon, and Bisharp is pretty powerful. Um, just the overlapping dark types everywhere makes it, in my eyes, kind of hard to function. And fairy types do really just... This team does not appreciate them. Uh, Only thing that resists it uh, is Loking Gala, right? Uh, uh, yes. And Bra yeah. Braxen, but Braxen <laughs> is not a fairy resist. <laughs> yeah. I wrote down, this team has a good fast mode. Um, there's little type variety. There's, oh, no fake out is a big one. So 
it's hard for you to stop your opponent from doing what they want. So, yeah, if your opponent has anything that outspeeds Miascarada, um, if they set up Trick Room and, I mean, Sloking is weakened, then it's a little hard for this team to, to function. And, yeah. So. Well, two things uh, I noticed in this team is uh, Braxis with Dathling that blocks the priority. Mm -hmm. uh, they could make some combos with Braxis. And I think it, it needs a prankster. Uh, well, I, I have Enamorous in SCBA and I use it with Morgorin that had Prankster Parting Shot, uh, Prankster Fake Tears, Prankster Scary Face. Mm -hmm. And you can use it in your in your favor to, to use the contrary ability and, mm -hmm. and make uh, an Amorous more bulky using, for example, a uh, super power with uh, Fake Tears into your own monk. And this thing, I I can see an scary face mom at first sight, uh, or, mm -hmm. or spirit tomb, <laughs> spirit tomb, <laughs> or or a fake tears. Uh, well, Miss Carada have have fake have fake tears, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but I think that Enamorous uh, needs uh, to set up with uh, and to. To have a good support to to work, because it's not the 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 bulkiest mon, and it's not the fastest, but well, it has a, an amazing coverage with uh, fairy, with moonblast, yeah. uh, mystical fire, and earth power. But it on on its own, it doesn't make uh, too much, I think. Right. And Emerus does need very good support. And this team has a lot of offensive pieces, not really centered around supporting each other. And that's a great point that you made, actually. Um, looking right. at this team, I think the only... Well, you're going to have to run Tailwind on one of your offensive mons if you want that up. But... Yeah, and also to to have uh, Enamorous as your only Tailwind setter, I, no, I think it's not the, the Hydreigon most... too, or oh, right Hydreigon too. But well, I changed my my mind. <laughs> Can't remember <laughs> Hydreigon. Well, and tied with Dino Nuggets, we had the. Uh, Orange County Osawats of uh, Ultra Rex that I faced uh, in a few hours <laughs> that have two of my favorite mons, Snizzler and Cleaver, paired with Indy D Female, Typhlosion and Decidui Hisui, Quilfis Hisui, let's see. Uh, Electros, Sandaconda, Honchcrow, Rotom Frost, and Meditite. And to see, for me to see Indie female paired with, or not paired with Arma Rouge is, uh, is a crime. <laughs> but <laughs> Snizzler can take advantage of their unboarding ability and the second seat, but I think that is not the best uh, partner for Indie female. And I don't know, this, this team. To I'm this morning for me, I, I was prepping and I don't know what uh, Ultra Rex is gonna bring for our match because <laughs> it has the Snizzler plus DD mode, the DD plus Cleaver, uh, DD um, Typhlosion Hisui Eruption Choice Scarf, uh, have a uh, some decent and bulky monks like Electros or Shandagonda 
or even Rotten Frost with uh, good Terra and its perfect coverage with Blizzard and Thunderbolt could make things uh, a little tricky, but <laughs> don't know. Uh, I, if I remember correctly, I put it in 14th place. You put it in, in ninth. Mm -hmm. What's uh, your opinion about it? So, I put this team in ninth because I think it has some hidden potential that hasn't been really discovered yet. There are a lot of powerful Pokemon on this team, and uh, five of them come from Legends Arceus. <laughs> so... <laughs> I, I see the the new toy syndrome, uh, just really wanting to draft all of the the new Pokemon allowed, uh, like Sneasler, Cleaver, Typhlosion, Decidueye, and Quillfish. Like five Asuian Pokemon in the first six picks of your team. <laughs> uh, that really stood out to me. Um, I I really like the surprise factor that this team brings um there is no water type uh there is no steel type there is no dragon type and there is no fairy type so this team i think it will have some trouble uh like switching around and you do have some bulky pieces but uh those are lower tiered um, other than in DDF, there's Sandicana, there's Electros, there's Rotom, as you said. Um, I, I really do like the low tier pieces for this team. Honchkrow, Honchkrow gets Tailwind, um, but most of the time you're not wanting to bring Honchkrow. It's not the bulkiest of Pokemon. Um, this team, I feel like Indeedy Terrain and Follow Me supports it pretty well. Uh, Typhlosion can run specs, and if your opponent doesn't outspeed Typhlosion, um, well, Eruption and Terrifier is going to go pretty, uh, pretty crazy against some teams. Um, and the Sneasler with Unburden, I love Sneasler. It's an amazing Pokemon. I just wish it had a uh, a different terrain besides psychic terrain because Sneasler does want to run fake out and this actually you can run Sneasler without Ndidi you don't need Ndidi for this team to function which I think is pretty valuable um, Cleavor does big damage uh, a lot of these Pokemon do big damage I think Trick Room is going to run this team over you do have Indeedee to prevent the Trick Room. I think Metatite gets it as well. But I think this lowest speed is Sanaconda. I think is 58. Um, if I remember correctly. Mm. I'm yeah, not quite tier? sure though. Of yes. Yeah, Sanaconda I think is 72. Wow. So even faster than I thought. Um, yeah, so this team, if Trick Room gets up, then uh, this team is just going to get overrun. But overall, I really do like it. There isn't really a psychic terrain abuser. Uh, like you said, Armor Rouge. <laughs> <laughs> like... I think the idea of picking up Indeedee was also to snipe Chandler, who took Armor Rouge uh, first pick. From right. one. First right. pick. Right. Um, so that makes it pretty valuable. And also, you do have the Sneasler. Uh, but yeah. Okay. That's all I have for this team. Well, let's move to the next that. I think we have uh, another tie for the next. Wow. Uh, between the Roman Aegis Lashes, Aegis Lashes mm -hmm. and uh, the Crobat Crew. The, <laughs> we have very different opinions about, about that team. 
Mm -hmm. uh, let's let's start with with the Roman, I guess, glasses. Uh, going right. to, to find it in the in the dock. You can start. Okay, so this team has Armor Rouge, NDD, NDD Mail, um, Great Tusk, Jolteon, Talonflame, Revavroom, Go Goat, Tatsugiri, Electric, and Shrudel. So, one thing I see when I see this team is Armor Rouge, NDD, and Talonflame, Great Tusk. Those two are very powerful combos. Uh, in their own right, but working together, um, Great Tusk feels like it's held down a little bit because the only uh, ground immunity on this team will be your Talonflame. Right. Uh, and, and, and Electric. electric the state. Right. <laughs> and Electric is a real Pokemon. I, <laughs> I've seen a Cybertron video or two. <laughs> Um, but Great Tusk most of the time wants to run Headlong Rush or Close Combat uh, over Earthquake in this uh, in this team. So Armor Rouge and NDD having that Psychic type coverage, while Great Tusk has the Fighting types. Um, the Fighting type coverage is pretty valuable. Um, you cover the Psychic resists, and then Psychic covers the uh, Fighting resists, but. Yeah, I, I like the speed control on this team. Armor Rouge and Entity like Trick Room, uh, Talonflame, Tailwinds. Uh, Armor Rouge and Entity and Great Tusk are all really good in Tailwind, as well as the, uh, the Tatsugiri, Rive of Room. Jolteon's naturally fast, which I, I think it's a great piece for this team. Um, it does get fake tears for potentially a Scarf Entity or Scarf Armor Rouge with uh, Expanding Force. <clears throat> Tatsugiri with Storm Drain is really valuable for this team, especially in the top two picks and Talonflame. Um, well, but and it offers... nobody has a water type in their team, or almost any anybody. <laughs> mm -hmm. So no, yeah. no, no water attacks yeah, to, to be absorbed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so far we've had, I think... Two water types, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Actually, one thing I, I just realized is uh, the Talonfling. Talonfling has U-turn, right? Yes, it does. You turn to a uh, Terra Dark Armor Rouge and oh, bring <laughs> in DD. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a. Uh, I think it's a. Uh, a threatening combo. <laughs> oh, I still remember getting absolutely wrecked by JB's Choice Scarf Squawk ability U turn into Armor Rouge, and then he brought out NDD. And it was <laughs> Terra Grass, Weakness Policy, Armor Rouge, and I just got swept from the get go. So that mode is very threatening, yeah. And, and you have to consider every week that you face this this team. Um, right. I, I I face in the last two weeks, I, I think. I think with a uh, Graphi U-turn with uh, Armor Rouge. Oh. Um, it did the the U-turn plus mm -hmm. expanding force mm -hmm. thing, and <laughs> if you are not prepared for that, it breaks <laughs> your entire team. <laughs> Absolutely right. <laughs> I think the, the thing I like the most about this team is the the offensive coverage of Armarouche, Great Task, and Talonflame, Jolteon. And the their low tiers like Electric and Srudel, I think they uh, they can put in work uh, with this team. Mm, Srudel has a uh, prankster weather, I think. Uh, has prankster uh, parting shot. But I think the mm, I think that the, this team could struggle to to make playoffs. In in my opinion, uh, it's very threatening. But if you prepare right. Mm, 
I, th I mean, it, I only see two or three good modes with this, this team. Uh, Talon Task or Talon Armorush or Armorush in Didi. And the next are the next picks or the rest of the picks. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't scare me, I think, <laughs> but <laughs> I... Uh, I don't want to, to eat my words <laughs> when I face uh, this thing. <laughs> of course. And Roman X slashes. And next are the the, the Crobat crew. I we have very different opinions. Very different opinions. <laughs> uh, where are they uh, here? Uh, I believe I put in 15th yeah i put it in 15 you in in where i can find it and i know right i put it in in sixth place and you in 15th yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. the first thing yeah. i think is uh, very strong in this thing is the landorus ferian gudra jesui core I think the the only weakness that has Gudra is uh, fighting and, and ground and with a flying type like Landorus and also with Intimidate that uh, patches the the lower the lowest defense of, of Gudra. Uh, could be difficult to to counter in mm -hmm. In a, in a match. And then, uh, Pinkurching with uh, Iron Leaves and Raichu Alola, uh, although I think Raichu Alola is, is not as powerful as in Gen 7, mm -hmm. uh, could be threatening. Carving is uh, under, an underrated mode uh, with Water Split and his high. high uh, defenses could uh, could support a teammate and make uh, make it made it uh, make it uh, very bulky. I use it. Mm -hmm. I used it in well alongside uh, Chansey. But if you are you can put a word split on into Gudra Hisui with uh, shelter or or affid affid armor and mm -hmm. body press could be a an unkillable monk uh, for this team that's true and also carving has a trick room mm -hmm. so what are your thoughts where you think uh, you think that <laughs> this thing is uh, one of the worst of the division. Oh boy. So I rank this team second to last. I believe <clears throat> Pink Kirchen plus Iron Leaves is a good mode. Uh, Raichu on top of that is uh, pretty solid, but Raichu does not get access to Fake Out. Or it does get access to Fake Out. I was going to say Follow Me. It doesn't get access to Follow Me in, uh, in this generation. So, that's one of the main downsides of it. Landorus, you really like using Earthquake with Landorus, but in this team, uh, you have one one other ground resist besides uh, Oracorio, which I think is not a real Mon, by the <laughs> way. That Mon, <laughs> never bring it. <laughs> it's not good. Um, but Landorus can't really freely earthquake unless your partner is protecting i feel like that holds the team back a lot gudra hasui is a very tough mon to prep for and yeah like you said the defensive synergy with landorus especially having intimidate is pretty threatening but gudra's base special attack is 110, 110. and the physical attack is 100. so this pokemon is gonna have uh, well, it's gonna really want to take time setting up, and the rest of the scene wants to go fast. 
like Pincurchin and Iron Leaves. Iron Leaves wants to hit hard. It wants to one-shot your opponent. Spectrier with that 145 base special attack and uh, 130 base speed is wanting to pick up big one-hit K KOs as well. Lander is, is very powerful. Um, you have Luminion for Tailwind. You have Carbink for Trick Room. Uh, Pincurchin is... The only Trick Room abuser... Oh, Guter Hisui is pretty good in Trick Room as well. Yes. Um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, there's no real fire type on this team. I I refuse to say Oracorio. <laughs> <laughs> Still. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, you have a good fake out with Raichu. Um, but the speed control, like, Carbink and Luminion are not going to be your favorite Pokemon to bring, uh, Luminion being such a, such an interesting Pokemon. Like, it gets Tailwind, it gets Storm Drain. Storm Drain isn't too useful on this team, especially like you said before, hmm. there are no water types. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is good for Landorus, though. Yes, um, and its only redirection among is Capsagi there, uh, I think, right? With Rich Powder? I think so. Yeah. Mm. And Capsagi is not the best <laughs> redirector. Of... Mm -hmm. uh, I think this team really struggles against opposing Fake Out if you're not bringing Raichu up front. Um, Spectrier with Terra. Um, ooh, that's another thing. All of this team's high tiers love to terrestrialize. So not being able to terrestrialize all four of Landorus, Gudra, Iron Leaves, and Spectrier is... Uh, I feel like there's some clashing there. Right. But other than that, I don't have very much to say about this team. Right. Well, but, um Next team is uh, Helsinki Hydreigons. Uh, I put it in seventh place. You did twelve. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna find it here. The sneakers team mm -hmm. with Cresselia, Namulsferian, Arboliva, uh, Gotherita, Chavo Binable, Pikachu, Annihilate, Bibilio. La Witzer and Crocalor. Mm. Right. I'm gonna put in the tier. You can start. Uh, All right. Here. Um. This team. Is my internet crapping out? Oh gosh. I hope my internet doesn't uh, just decide to die in the middle of the recording <laughs> anyways this team has some very bulky pieces there's Cresselia, Annihilate Enamorous Therian Arboliva, Vivillon or Vivian uh, Crabominable my favorite Pokemon Clawitzer, <laughs> Gotharita Pikachu and Crocolore so this team obviously does really want to set up Trick Room uh, I feel like that's one of the main downfalls of this team. Your pieces uh, can function out of Trick Room, but you would have to run a lot of speed for them to function in Vivalon's Tailwind. Um, uh, speaking of, Vivian is a really good, uh, really good partner for most of these Pokemon. They really appreciate Friend Guard, and Friend Guard is very very powerful on this team. Cresselia is going to be impossible to knock out with Terra. Yeah. Enamorous, so bulky. Annihilate, taking all of the hits in the world. Um, yeah, you have Gotharita. That's an amazing value pick, by the way. Two points. Amazing. Just fake out. You have Trick Room. You have all the support you can imagine. Fake Tears. Um, Charm. Um... Yeah, um, Annihilate being a 
really good fast piece with Vivalon is pretty threatening. And you can run Cresselia fast as well. Uh, like, hmm. You can use it uh, as Choice Pecs uh, mode right. with all its bulk. And mm. it's good coverage. It could be a, a surprise factor. Yeah, that would be an amazing surprise set. And Our believer. Oh, go ahead. Uh, speaking of surprise uh, uh, factors, uh, an elape every week can be a choice car final gambit set or a bull cap a rich fist drink punch set, and you have to discover it uh, in game. Mm -hmm. And sneakers can take advantage of, of that to to make their their game plans. <coughs> And one thing I realized is that I put in my notes, uh, I don't like Carbobinable, and it's one of your favorite months, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Oh. Well, I, I never use Carbobinable, but... Uh, mm. I, don't, I don't think it's the, the best. <laughs> it's very... It's not as bulky as I want to for a Trick Room Monk, but it, it hits very hard. The main thing I like about Crabominable on this team, um, it gives you the ice type coverage that you're really looking for. A lot of the, um, well, I was gonna say, the other pieces on this team can't really hit the uh, ground types, but our belief is not very offensive. Klawitzer is actually pretty good at doing that. But, ooh, also the flying types. Crabominable takes care of the flying types um, with the ice hammer move, and that also drops its speed in Trick Room. So, <laughs> good, good combo. Right. It does get the hyper cutter ability. You can't intimidate it, you can't uh, use charm into it. Mm -hmm. um, it gets pretty good coverage. Um, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie and say this Pokemon is the best, <laughs> but it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. It's the right. best in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it has a anger point, right? It does. It does have anger point. But I, I can see any frost breath or user in, in right. this team, so it's a mm -hmm. mode that we didn't see, or we we won't see. <laughs> yeah. That would be awesome to see. I think this team does a really good job, or they did a really good job picking the low tiers on this team. Um, Clawwitzer, Gotharita, Crabominable, Pikachu, and Crocolore is one of the top um, low tier uh, grabs on this on this board. <clears throat> but my main gripe with this team is actually the high tiers. Um, Enamorous and I get it. It hits hard. It's bulky. Uh, it needs Trick Room to be up. Um, it's it's springtime storm or springtide storm attack is only eighty percent accurate. Yeah, you can have Moonblast, but or Dazzling Gleam, <laughs> but or Dazzling Gleam. That's true. But hmm. well, when <laughs> I see Cresselia and Enamorous Stadium, I think. <laughs> This team needs a good earthquake uh, user in Trick Room. That's true. Crabominable. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? He's right there. <laughs> Best uh, earthquake abuser. <laughs> of course, of course. Well, uh, let's put uh, Helsinki Hey Dragons in A. Solid playoffs, uh, I think. Hmm. And yeah. let's move to the next. That is going to be a Toronto Tinkatings. Uh, with an 8 average, I put it in 10th. You put it in 6th place. Mm -hmm. mm, right. I'm going to put it in the tier. And you can present the, the monks while I'm doing that. Okay. Yeah.
This team has Ursaluna, Zapdos, Mimikyu, Hisui, and Samurai, uh, Kaparaja, Toxtricity, Dragalge, Delphox, Tauros, and Thwacky. So, what are your thoughts on this team, Mario? Mm. I see a, a Discquake mode, but <laughs> not the best, because mm -hmm. your Saluna is, is slow. Mm -hmm. And a good trick room mode with Mimikyu and, uh, and your Saluna. Mm. And then a nice water grass core with Samuro, Delphox, and Tuaki. Mm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> a good uh, fairy ground fairy dragon steel core with Mimikyu, Dragalgi, and Cooperaya. But I think I don't know what is toxicity doing here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and Samuro Hisui, I think. Mm, even with its uh, sharpen, sharpness uh, ability, uh, it doesn't make the damage uh, I want for a right for a good water type. But mm -hmm. it's a very, I think it's, it's a good team. Your Saluna and Zapdos are very good mons. Uh, Delphox is an undervalued mon. It has a decent speed tier, a good special attack, um, nice coverage. It had access to Trick Room, I, I think. Mm -hmm. And maybe, uh, uh, like in the Carol Enable uh, case uh, before, I, I need with Tauros a. Uh, for example, a uh, frostless with frost breath to to have a, a very threatening mode with uh, anger point Tauros, uh, Cantonian uh, Cantonian Tauros. What do you think? Okay, so I did like the point you made about the disquake mode. I think it's very awkward to use. Um, one likes to be fast, it likes to be in tailwind, and the other likes to be slow paced uh, and in trick room. My main gripe with this team is that it looks very difficult to use. And I think that's a trend that Bread Pudding has taken upon himself <laughs> <laughs> in all of our in all of our drafts, actually. <laughs> um, this team looks very difficult to use. Uh, Mimikyu it it does get trigger room, but your only your only fake out user is going to be Thwacky, and of course Mimikyu does have disguise and it's uh, immune to fake out. But if you double up into it, it's not the bulkiest Pokemon, so it can just go down pretty easily. Um, this team is overall pretty slow, I would say, with Ursaluna, Dragalge, and Kaparaja, um, really really favoring trick room. Um, you do have the Zapdos Tailwind mode, but like you said, Samurai Hisui isn't uh, isn't really pumping out the damage that you would want your Dark type or Water type to uh, to do. And Ceaseless Edge is a good move; it breaks Focus Sashes. But I mean, if your opponent just brings the Focus Sash up front, then I mean, the spikes aren't really doing yeah. very much. Ursa Luna, I, I really, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like Ursa Luna. I don't think it's very, very good, especially with Guts Flame Orb. Like, if you're setting up Trick Room turn one, and then you're bringing out Ursa Luna the, the next turn, and you have to protect with it to burn it, that leaves two turns of Trick Room for Ursa Luna to use, and. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure, especially with this team, not really loving Earthquake. Like, actually, a lot of the team is weak, especially in the lower tiers to Earthquake. Uh, Thwacky does have the grassy terrain, which I think um, it clashes with Ursaluna. It's a very good low tier pick, um, as is uh, 
as are the other low tiers on this team. Um, but I don't know. I I do like the uh, the Fairy Steel Dragon Core and Mimikyu Kaparaja Dragalge. They really like to work together, uh, which is really nice. And um, Samurott Delphox and Thwacky for the Waterfire Grass is good and in, in, in its own regard. Like, that's some good fast mode pieces. Um, and Zapdos really likes supporting all of those. And yeah, like you said, I think Toxtricity can be traded. Uh, with Dragalge and Zapdos on the team, there isn't really much... And Ursaluna for your normal stab, there isn't really much purpose for Toxtricity on this team. Right. Um, and with and no, it, no telepathy users, mm -hmm. I think. O only Mimikyu right. could only be Mimikyu. for the boom burst spam. Right. And this, this Pokemon really does appreciate Tailwind, which Mimikyu... I mean, does not really favor. Right. Um, this team has some good supports, but overall I think it's mostly offensive pieces. So if you traded Toxtricity for a uh, support piece, maybe. Um, maybe Frostless, something along the lines of that, uh, could be pretty good in supporting the rest of the team. Right. Well, uh, yeah. when... Uh... One take I want to make with your Saluna is that people are very focusing flame or guts, uh, your Saluna. Mm -hmm. While I think Belly Drum, Citrus, Bulky, your Saluna is more threatening and could be, mm -hmm. uh, uh, could work under Tailwind and, and Trick Room with the right uh, speed. That it's not as, as as slow as other trick room abusers. He has base uh, base fifty, I think, and I think mm -hmm. it can work uh, different that Flame Orb, uh, Guts Facade, or Saluna. Uh, yeah. Well, I put it in a solid. Playoffs for Toronto Dinkadings. Mm -hmm. And next, uh, we have the uh, executors. <laughs> executors. <laughs> of, uh, yeah, of executors here. The coaches. In uh, space. In space. Okay. Uh, with. Uh, Ursifu, Rapid Strike, Chien Pao, uh, Koalosal, Kilowattrel, Sligo Hisui, Persian, Hadrin, Chestnut, Camrap, and Maschief. And <laughs> Ursifu, Rapid Strike, Chien Pao is, uh, <laughs> I think, <laughs> the the half of the of the team. It's yeah. <laughs> A very strong core, uh, very powerful, very threatening, hard to stop. And and then you have a, a colossal, colossal mode with Urshifu that I think is not the best because Urshifu could be too strong to activate the Steam Nemjing from colossal, <laughs> even if you tear a grass or to another type. Mm -hmm. mm, Kilowatt release a, a good uh, speed control with competitive to well uh, this team mm -hmm. well Urshifu rapid strike uh, doesn't care about uh, intimidate with with their charging strike but could be a good pick uh, with competitive. Esligo Hisui could be very, very bulky with uh, Eviolite. Persian is a nice uh, support mode with Icy Wind. He's very fast, fake out, uh, fake tears. Um, it's technician ability that sometimes could make more damage the, than we thought. Uh, Hatterin as a trick room setter and abuser with camera that <laughs> I think is not the best uh, trick room abuser mm -hmm. 
but it has a uh, eruption and a very undervalued mom as chestnut with uh, bulletproof and uh, and staff uh, iron defense body press uh, spiky shield instead of protect as uh, is option. Mm -hmm. uh, I think just now it is a very undervalued mom in in this draft with five only five points. Oh, it, uh, yeah, it, does, right. it doesn't have the the best types because uh, uh, grass and fighting has uh, many weakness, but you can tear uh, in this uh, <laughs> in this game. <laughs> And I think that for for the moment, I, I think that's all. What are your thoughts? Yeah. <clears throat> so I agree with your very first point. <laughs> Urshifu and Genpao is half of the team. <laughs> uh, the other half is Kilowattrol and Persian and Hatterene. Uh, <laughs> in my eyes. Hmm. I... This team has very fast mode. It has a very fast mode and it has a very slow mode. So there is no middle in between the fast and slow mode. Uh, you have Urshifu, Chien Pao, Kilowattro, which is really good for competitive on this team. That synergy is great. And Persian for the fast mode. And then you have Hatterene, Chestnut, Camerupt, and Colossal. For the slow mode. Um, Chestnut, I think, is somewhere in the base 70s of speed. But um, that's the only middling speed you have on this team. <clears throat> um, Urshifu and Jianpao is very powerful. Urshifu's Choice Scarfed is going to be um, very, very good. Um... Persian and Kilowattrol, and actually all of the fast pieces really like the Focus Sash and uh, the Covert Cloak. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Like you said, I don't really think Camerupt is a good Pokemon. Uh, I, I don't think it gets Eruption. Uh, but, like, it does get Lava Plume. I guess, for some Colossal Synergy. Um, Colossal is honestly my main gripe about this team. I don't think it's good without Dynamax. And even with Dynamax, it's hard to position it right. Um, I'm sure in space can, uh, can position it right. Um, I know they're a good player. I've seen them around in uh, SCDA, so... Yeah, they have they have that mode going for them. But yeah, Urshifu does a lot of damage to Colossal. And then as well as your opponent can run Mirror Herb to uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it brings me <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> well, Specifically loving Q. Uh, well, <laughs> well I, I think Colossal We'll, we always see it as a, a Steam Engine uh, Absorbable Witness Police uh, proc. But mm -hmm. it also has a Flash Fire and Flame Body and could be used in, in Trick Room. But That's true. Its, its attack and special attack are not the, the best, even with the Witness Police or Absorbable. And sometimes you feel like uh, it doesn't make all the damage you you want and and opponents uh, can weakness your your monk and, and faint uh, before you colossal can do anything <laughs> but right. but yeah i think <clears throat> if you you find the, the way to use colossal it's very very bulky it can resist uh, many hits if you have a bit uh, properly. But it's not, uh, I think it's not the best uh, fire type for, for this team. 
but well, you have uh, Rusifu, Rapid Strike, and Chimpao, so you don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, I feel what? like we're going to see that mode in particular pop off in this league. But, well, yeah. uh, let's go for the next. Uh, we have one, two, three. Uh, the uh, last uh, five teams uh, in six plates. Ah. We have the the weird team of the Villablanca Volcanoes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what uh, is this team? <laughs> I put <laughs> I put myself in five plates. You put me in eight, and I think you have to to talk about uh, my team. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, <laughs> okay. Um, so I I guess it's my uh, uh, I'll I'll start off, and then you can. Uh, Okay. Um, interject whenever you want to on because I know you have you understand your team a lot better than I do. Okay. Um, so yeah, the first four picks of the draft: <laughs> Morgrum, Fletchinder, Mistrevis, and Orthworm. <laughs> um, I was I I, I was shocked. <laughs> Honestly, to see the first pick of the draft be Morgrim. And then you round it out with Fletchinder Misdrevis, <laughs> Dedene, and Sligu as your bottom tiers. I think two of those are real Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Fletchinder is pretty dang bulky with Eviolite. Um, Dedene sucks. Dedene's trash. I, I, I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> it's not a good Pokemon. Sligu, I'm sure you can use it with Terra, but the main gripe I have about this team is the low tier support. Everybody wants Eviolite. Uh, everybody wants Focus Sash. And once you run out of those two items, uh, your high tiers uh, don't get the Focus Sash item. Obviously, they are mostly pretty bulky, other than Iron Moth on the physical side. Um... But yeah, I think this team either can uh, it can be bulky, it can take a while to set up, and uh, like with Toad Scroll and Spore and Rage Powder, uh, alongside a Galarian Moltres with Nasty Plot or Agility, and then Backscalibur with Dragon Dance or Swords Dance. I think Slitherwing might get Sword Dance too. Um, maybe, but yeah, this team does have good priority and Morgrim fake out and prankster Fletchinder's tailwind. Um, Slitherwing has a great first impression. Yes. And then Backscalibur's ice shard. All of those four are very, very powerful. Um, one thing I do like about this team is that Iron Moth if you want to spam Sludge Wave, you can just send out Orthworm or Mystery Vis. Um, and yeah, like the spec Sludge Waves are going to do a lot of damage. Um, I will say this team does struggle against Trick Room. Uh, Mystery Vis having Imprisoned Trick Room is valuable, but um, your, your main offensive pieces being base 85 speed and above um, I think doesn't help that regard. Toad Scroll does also get Trick Room, um, which is pretty good in preventing it. Um, but yeah, and also <laughs> like the other teams, there's no Water type. <laughs> I I had to rank this eighth because I like I didn't see much good defensive switch ins. Um, you have Moltres, you have Backscalibur, you have Mistrevis, Orthworm, but a lot of your other Pokemon don't really want to take damage. Um, Slitherwing, I guess, is fine to take damage on, but um, Toad Scroll likes HP. Uh, Morgrim likes having its HP. Fletchinder and Iron Moth really don't want to switch into many things besides like a fairy type attack with Iron Moth.
Right. But um, other than that, I don't see an earthquake spammer for Earthworm other than Baxcalibur. And Slitherwing. Um, ooh, Slitherwing does get earthquake? Yes. I like that. Okay. So this team does allow for some great earth earthquake spam with four immunities um, in the Fledgender, Mystery of His Earthworm, and Moltres. But, yeah, a Terra Ground could be uh, pretty good for this team. Um, I think that's all I have to say. I think you could trade a couple of the uh, the lower tiers that use the Eviolite. Never. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> My fault. Yeah. I'm good to put in work those uh, not full of all bit po uh, Pokemon. <laughs> and I'm sure they will. I mean, you had first dibs at them. You picked the best, the best of the bunch, and yeah, I'm excited to see what you do with them this season. Well, uh, on my part, uh, some some things I I want to to say. I don't want to reveal all my strats for this team, but oh, cool. I'm planning to use uh, electric terrain, uh, electric seed, item moth to boost its defense and its special attack or speed, depends on the match. Okay. Uh, I'm planning on May some week uh, entrainment uh, plus the Dene uh, with Toad Scroll to uh, take Ooh. out their Micellium Might ability and have spores with uh, base 100 speed. Um, I have uh, with Morgring. I have uh, priority screens to help Moltres Galar to, mm. to set up, and That's even Excalibur that can have a Swords Dance or or Dragon Dance. And well, my my plan as we we were talking uh, before draft uh, starts. Uh, was to to pick some low tiers that I think could uh, work in almost any team I can I can choose, mm -hmm. and then my main plan was to to take Iron Moth and Slitherwing to to try it uh, together in a team, and I think nobody. Uh, it was planning to to pick uh, either. So, mm. as my picks uh, comes to me, I I continue to to pick uh, lower tiers and and let the the higher tiers for for the for the last picks and and know that I wasn't gonna be uh, sniped in the in neither of my of my picks right i consider a uh, dragonite in 14 points over baxcalibur but i like uh, more baxcalibur than dragonite but it mm, was a tough de decision because uh, extreme mm. speed terra norma choice band dragonite a uh, multi-scale or inner focus uh, is very good uh, dragonite could be used as a physical or, or, or even a special attacker it has very very points in in its favor but i choose my my favorite mom uh, over over the two uh, nice and i want to to put them in work and last i choose a multi uh, Moltres Galar because it uh, has a very good synergy with Iron Moth. Uh, mm -hmm. It covers the Psychic and Ground weakness of Iron Moth. Uh, Iron Moth covers its uh, fairy, fairy weakness. And I think there could be a, a good pair uh, with uh, Iron Moth can learn at Acid Spray to power up the Moltres Galar moves. 
and well, uh, I think it's a very funny team that I want to to use <laughs> in this season. Funny, but still very powerful. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> and then in fifth, uh, fifth place, we have the New England Patriots of uh, our dear JV. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everybody's favorite. <laughs> JV here in fourth place. Uh, I put it in A, solid playoffs. Only the uh, third, no, the three first. Uh, I I'm gonna put in in S in championship contender because we agree that those three are the the best uh, team mm -hmm. of of this division. Well, yeah, it was really funny. We agreed on the mm -hmm. top three teams, but then the um, I think it was the Crowback Crew. I mm -hmm. had it 15, and then he had it sixth. Six. It, was, <laughs> it was quite funny, but yeah. Well, uh, JB, a big uh, a Chiyu Iron Bundle, a very good core. Then above my snow, Noiber, uh, Gardevoir, uh, Luxray, Spupa, Toxic Rogue, Komala, Tinkatuf, and Palosan. And first, um, a half of this team is Chiyu Iron Bundle. I think it's another <laughs> great, great core. <laughs> And Another one of those teams, teams. <laughs> <laughs> but it has a better uh, partners than than the other teams. <laughs> with I think uh, Noiber and Gardevoir, I almost know that could put the snow for the Iron Bundle to increase their defense and allow it to to use Blizzard. Uh, or use um, Aurora Veil. Uh, Luke mm -hmm. Ray is a very, very good uh, pick. I like it in this team with Intimidate and his electric type. And also could be used as a Guts, uh, Flame More Guts, uh, Facade, Terra Normal Monk. <laughs> Spupa mm -hmm. is not the best redirection, but it has a framework. Toxic Rock is a good fake out uh, mom with uh, immunity to to water with dry skin. <coughs> and can counter now that I think uh, Urshifu Rapid Strike. And I think Palosan is a is a um, good uh, Good mom. I changed my my opinion in the last uh, month. It's not a, as bad a, as I thought. Um, what do you do you think about the the JV's team? Well, I I got to lead with I'm a little biased because I did help draft this team. Um, well, I helped a little bit. Um, it, it was mostly JB and you know <clears throat> and. I think Poggy Toad helped them a lot. But the Chiyu Iron Bundle duo is very, very powerful. Uh, Pumpkin can tell you all about that if you just ask him. Um, Iron Bundle and Obama Snow is very powerful. Noivern for Tailwind is very good for this team. A lot of these Pokemon really appreciate the Tailwind support. And uh, yeah, Noivern being very fast and Having access to Tailwind is nice. Um, I believe it's hard to prep for all of the Iron Bundle sets. Like, in most VGC games, or most VGC teams, like, you'll see either Choice Specs or Booster Speed. Um, with, like, Blizzard, Icy Wind, Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, and Protect. Like, uh, but... I think a bulkier Iron Bundle with Aurora Veil could be really valuable for this team, especially if you want to put bulk into Chiyu. Um, Obama Snow can live a lot, a lot of hits, especially when Terra, uh, which I think is another good point on this team. This team uh, doesn't really need Terra, which 
is nice because it makes it that all all the more uh, all the more powerful when you decide to Terra offensively with Chiyu, uh, Terra Fire Heat Wave or Terra Fire Overheat, and then the Iron Bundle, Terra Ice, Choice Specs, Blizzards, and in, in the snow. Um, I, I I just think that's great. You have a uh, a pretty pretty solid uh, Firewater Grass, well, a very solid Firewater Grass. But a pretty solid Dragon Fairy Steel uh, with Tinkatov down there and Gardevoir and Noivern. Um, I like the amount of uh, types and energies they have. Um, there are some good switch ins, uh, quite a few good switch ins uh, on this team. Like if you just lead Iron Bundle, Obama Snow, you can switch in Gardevoir, you can switch in Luxray, Chiyu. Um, especially bulky to take the iron iron, iron bundle hits. Um, like fighting type is very bad for the top three, but the rest of the team does a great job rounding out the uh, resistances. And um, yeah, I, I I just really appreciate the type synergy here. Uh, this team has good bulk while being hyper offensive. Um, Chiyu does drop special defense, but that works in your favor uh, the majority of the time. And like you said, Palisan, I'm not sure what to think of it, but I think it gets Trick Room, and it gets Water Compaction. No, it doesn't have a... Oh, it doesn't get Trick Room? Trick Room. <laughs> it okay. has a Shore Up, to is like a yeah. Recover, mm -hmm. and had a very good coverage with... Uh, Energy Ball, uh, Giga Drain, Earth Power, Shadow Ball. I think mm -hmm. it's, and it's bulkier than we think. And with a, with a weakness police or another item, could make uh, hard damage. Yeah, one thing you could do is use Iron Bundle Flip Turn into yeah. Hollow Sand Weakness Policy. That could be pretty powerful. And then also Iron Bundle Flip Turn into Toxic Rope with Dry Skin. You can heal it up uh, manually, which I think is pretty valuable. But and if you if you use Flip Turn into Toxic Rope, uh, it doesn't uh, switch, right? Right. It doesn't switch. Right. So you would have to have a really good reason to do it. But an Iron Bundle can learn Surf, I think. Note. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe. If it can, that's really good. The Toxic Croak. Um, but this team doesn't yep. have very many Trick Romancers, which prevented me from putting it higher on the tier list. Um, I did like the uh, Imprisoned Gardevoir as uh, as a, g a good answer for Trick Room. It does get very bulky when invested into max defense. Um, but, yeah. A good team. <laughs> it's a very good team, in my opinion. Well, last in fourth place, we have uh, Swindon, Swindon Rockies. Uh in the rookies yeah. are Elf Draco, uh, a new a newcomer uh, with in this season. If I uh, if I'm right, mm -hmm. correct. And they have uh, Iron Hands, Ting Lu, Pelipper, uh, Fungus, uh, Bronson, Rotom Heat, B Arctic, Slagging, Dracloak, and Growthly. What do you think about this team? Oh my gosh. This team is the definition of bulky offense. I love that. I think this team is very, very powerful. Iron Hands and Ting Lu, I think, is the uh, like the best duo in this entire draft league. Like you can forget every other team. Iron Hands Ting Lu is it, it's a crazy duo and then paired with Bronzong and Rotom Heat to resist the fairy types. Holy right. Oh right. my god. 
this team, it, it, it just scares me. Um, you're going to have a very hard time knocking out Iron Hands and Tinglu. If Trick Room goes up, then Fungus puts your entire team to sleep. Uh, and Iron Hands and Tinglu are able to really just run the game from there. Pelipper Beartic is a pretty solid rain mode. Beartic does get uh, Swift Swim and 130 base attack. Uh, a good bulk. But it is, it, it, it is very good bulk. Right. Um, being an eye side, though, it's weak to almost everything. I would say, really, my only gripe with this team is um, Pelipper setting rain. Uh, Tinglu doesn't really appreciate that, but this team does a really good job in that it doesn't need Terra. So you can save the Terra for Tinglu, you can save it for Iron Hands, and Terra. I, I guess you could Terra Tinglu into either grass or water um, to to really just maximize that rain usage. Um, but I I would say my only gripe with this team is slacking. I think that Pokemon is useless. Yeah. I think it. It's just not a good Pokemon. Sure, it's bulky. Sure, it hits hard. It hits hard once every other turn. But you have uh, Protect. And <laughs> if you have yeah. Protect, it can... If you hit. have Protect. And, yeah, I I really don't like the slacking pick. If you trade it, uh, that will do you wonders. Uh, if you can trade that, you could trade Growlithe because that's not super necessary. Um, it does offer Intimidate, but with the physical bulk that you already have in Iron Hands, Tinglu, and Bronzong, and Pelipper, um, I don't think it's very necessary. But, yeah. I, I agree with the slacking and the, the Iron Hands, Tinglu as the best uh, pair. Of the mm -hmm. division. Mm. Wait. Yeah. And Pelipper, like you said, the rain uh, without Bearctic, the rest of the team. Well, maybe to to make weaker the <laughs> fire types against Bronson or against Terra Terra Grass uh, Iron Hands. But they didn't mm. see too much uh, utility for for the rain. Mm -hmm. But it's a very a very good team. Uh, hard to prep, very bulky, very hard to to kill and to 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 win matchup for everyone. And and yeah, I think. They have a very good switchings, like you said, but the slagging with only Bronson as a skill swap user is not the the best uh, mom for this uh, for this team. It can trade for for other using the drag, drag clock and growth lead uh, points to have another three better moms. Yeah, I think this team could use a fairy type because it uh, it doesn't have one right now. Yes. Um, and also maybe a, a another grass type. Fungus is really supportive, but if you get like a more offensive grass type, um, I don't really know what to what to suggest and what's free on the board right now. Huh. But a grass, maybe maybe even a ghost type. Could be good for this team. Uh, just notice this team actually is not the greatest against Fake Out. And Draclok is a ghost type. But, I mean, is it a good ghost type? That's a different story. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, yeah. Well, but let's go to the three best teams in our opinion. Yeah. Uh, starting with uh, the Victorian Bullpix. I put it in third place. You put it in second. Mm -hmm. And I think Victorian Bullpix. 
Uh. It's coaches. Uh, their coaches. Uh, T-Rex. The Australian. <laughs> Your Australian friend. <laughs> <laughs> P-Rex oh, okay. with it's a sun team basically. Uh, Turkel, yeah. Fluttermain, Walking Wake, uh, Uxi, Berserker, Lilligan Hisui, uh, Southbook, Girafarik, Tornado Ferian, and the Mighty Lechonk. <laughs> the Mighty Lechonk. Uh, first, I think some things are often very con counterable. <laughs> You know what they're going to do. Uh, if you have a prankster uh, rain dance or you have a, another weather control mode, you know what to do. Mm -hmm. But they have Flutter Main and Walking Wake. Even with, uh, with rain dance, Walking Wake is making too much, too much uh, damage. And Flutter main has uh, almost a perfect coverage with Shadow Ball and Moonblast. Mm -hmm. mm, in my opinion, it's not the most uh, flexible or mon with for a draft lead, but it still is very strong. Uh, the core Torkoal and Lilligan Hisui with After You and and, and eruption. eruption is very threatening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tornado's pairing as a very fast tailwind setter could be nice, but yeah, I think it's one of the strongest uh, teams in this uh, in this division. What do you think? Absolutely, this team it does a really good job. It, uh, just like outspeeding and Okoing. Uh, I think that's this team's forte. Torkoal and Lilligant, that's a very, very threatening combo. And then Fluttermane and Walking Wake, they, I, I think the best team about, or the best thing about this team is that, yes, it's a sun team, but they don't need the sun necessarily. Like <clears throat> Fluttermane, Walking Wake, and Tornadus and let's say Berserker or Lilligant, all of those can function without Sun, and they can function pretty well uh, at that. Um, Torkoal is going to be very good in Trick Room. Yuxi, I think, is one of the best, uh, or no, I think it's the best uh, value Trick Room setter in this uh, on this tier yeah. tier list. You, and you then said Berserker, to me, right? You said to What's me up? during, well, well, we're drafting. You said mm -hmm. that you see it's a very valuable pick, right? Right. Yeah. And I agree. It's very bulky. It's very bulky. It's very passive. But this team has very good, uh, very good offensive pieces uh, surrounding Yuxi. So that really, really allows it to shine. With uh, Trick Room, maybe with Helping Hand, Thunder Wave, uh, you get Encore, just a lot of disruption, um, and it's impossible to KO this Pokemon. Um, Berserker offers a good Fake Out um, and a good Steel type. Uh, it like the thing I like most about this team is that it makes very good value of the lower tiers. Um, Sawsbuck, it gets Chlorophyll. Um, Yuxi, Berserker, and Lilikant are amazing low tiers. Um, I really do like the uh, the walking wake aspect of this team. Like, it's weak to Dragon, it's weak to Fairy, but the, uh, the rest of the team does a really good job supporting that, especially the Berserker and the uh, Fluttermane. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. Uh, this team uses Sun very well. Lilligant, just by itself, is very threatening with Sleep Powder and some Fighting Stab. Uh, you can run Hustle. I wouldn't advise it. Um, but, <laughs> hey, if you're feeling lucky, <laughs> more power to you. 
Um, and it has yeah. a victory dance, the new move that is a physical quiver dance. That's true. It's just better quiver dance. <laughs> <laughs> Especially for this Pokemon, yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Well, and last, uh, in second place, we have uh, the Dallas Dutch Boom. I put uh, your team in first place, you put it in in third place. Third. Third. Yeah. And I'm gonna put in the tier list here, second. And here's your team. Uh, uh, Rui Laboon, Asumariel, uh, Arcanine Hisui, Iron Yugulis, Mutsdale, Klefki, Glali, Aeself, Electro, and Osawot. <laughs> <laughs> Oshawott, the true MVP. <laughs> well, first thing, the water, grass, fire core, water, fire, grass core of this thing is, uh, is amazing. Uh, all of them are physical attackers, but Asumari has pure power, has belly drum. Uh, I think with a good redirection could be more threatening. And mm -hmm. Rillaboom with terrain control, with fake out, with U-turn, knock off, uh, the powerful wood hammer. Arcanine Hisui with three very good abilities with uh, Intimidate, uh, Rock Head and Flash Fire. Uh, head, head Smash and, fly, and Flare Blitz with uh, Iron Head could be amazing and make too much uh, damage. Uh, then Iron Jugulis, I love this mount. Uh, a bulky booster, booster Energy Speed could be a great Tailwind Setter. Uh, could use uh, fire coverage, uh, although Ice Slash and Snarl, I think, is are their their best option with a uh, in a support set. Mutsdale, it's very bulky, hits very hard, has three very good abilities, and is <laughs> almost unkillable if if you use a stamina and uh, nasal best set. Uh, Glefki mm -hmm. with screens, with prankster, uh, T Wave with prankster uh, weather could help um, your your bulky team to be bulkier. <laughs> uh, Glali is a weird team, it's a weird pick, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, could be annoying with uh, Moody and, and screen support. And Aesop is a uh, among the, the I love the better of the three fairy trio, I think. Mm -hmm. mm, the late trio. I already see the explosion strat <laughs> in your video, <laughs> and with their normal explosion. Uh, well, I think you don't have any ghost type uh, or any telepathy mods. But you can use protect right. and, and explode with with Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> or just KO my partner like I did. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> and then also what I don't wanna talk about it, but <laughs> Electro has uh, the best uh, well if you don't think well Regulegi wasn't picket. So Electro right. is the fastest is the fastest mon of the of the league, and could uh, do some things with uh, aftermath. With uh, I think it has T wave. I think it has uh, screens. Well, I mm -hmm. I think it's a very good team, very consistent, and I love to see you in, in finals again. <laughs> <laughs> all um, right yeah i um <laughs> first of all yes i do want to i do want to make finals i do want to meet you in finals again uh for the third time in this league in particular 
Uh, I'm over two right now, and I need a, I need to uh, need to reclaim. Uh, but yeah, um, I, I I really did like the points you made about my team. Uh, no telepathy and having explosion as of. Uh, it's it's a little bit of an issue, but uh, I mean the rest of my team doesn't really have much spread. Um, they don't have many spread attacks. Azumarill, yeah, it would be nice with redirection. Instead of Oshawott, I could... I, I, I could drop that for, like, a one-point Rage Powder or Follow Me. Um, but I really love Oshawott, and I want to make it work in one week. <laughs> um, if you could... I, if you could make... A, well, if you could... Put in work uh, spidops. I think also what is uh, another mode you can put in work in this season. Well, the difference between spidops and Oshawa is that spidops is an amazing Pokemon with no <laughs> flaws at all. Um, <laughs> it's the perfect being. <laughs> um, but that's a that's another story. Uh, <laughs> honestly, undervalued at four points on this tier list. Should have been 15, in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> possibly even uh, even banned. Uh, <laughs> no, but I really love the uh, Rillaboom on this team. And uh, it was my first pick, so I did try to draft around it. I believe Azumarill, Arcanine, and Mudsdale really do appreciate the grassy terrain recovery. Uh, Mudsdale especially with uh, Leftovers and Protect. Well, I mean, that's 12% healing every turn. And with Protect, that's 25% healing. Um, Whoa. Yeah, this, this team, so bulky. Uh, I love the fact that breaking this team looks nearly impossible. Um, yeah. Uh... I, I, I do like the Glalie pick. It's good behind screens. It's good in the grassy terrain. Uh, Moody does take a while, which I don't think is... Wi-Fi is going to be very friendly to me in that regard. <laughs> I mean, we saw that with uh, with finals last season. The timer is not my best friend. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I think I can play in a way... Uh, to where I, I could force my opponent to play slow, or I could force them to play fast with, uh, like, something, let's say, Choice Band Azelf, uh, Choice Band Arcanine, uh, Choice Specs, Iron Jugulus. Um, a lot of my Pokemon appreciate Life Orb. Um, yeah, and the nice thing... Sorry. Oh, go ahead. Uh, We're we only talking about... Uh... Uh, explosion in Excel, but it has an amazing coverage uh, to use uh, physical and um, for the special side. And you can use it right. as choice bank user or choice specs user. Choice specs, right. And another thing about this team is well, the, the natural bulk overall, I think, is the best of any team in the league. And that's kind of what I was going for. Um, this team, it appreciates Focus Sash. But none of the members really need it. Like, and I, I think that's the, uh, well, the best aspect of this team overall. I could run Azelf with Focus Sash, but nobody else really needs it, you know? Right. Um, and, like, if I run a surprise Focus Sash on, let's say, Iron Jugulus or even Arcanine with Rockhead, I can just mash the Flare Blitz button or mash the... <laughs> head smash button um, and I don't take recoil so focus ash on a mon with two 4x weaknesses I think could be pretty valuable um, and item versatility on this team is it's pretty pretty nice so yeah, yeah. very strong that's team. all I have to say about it very strong team and last for uh, <clears throat> for the first place in our power rankings I put uh, them in second place. You put it in first place. The right. Toronto Blue Toads, Blue, to yeah. Blue Toads, <laughs> of uh, 
Pugito. Uh, mm -hmm. That has a team with uh, Thundur, uh, Tornados, uh, Heatran, Giarados, Garchom, Pachirisu, uh, Tauros Paldea, um, Dutchbam, Grookey, uh, Banet y an Impidim. Uh, the first uh, one, two, three, four, five picks are very, very strong, very top heavy monks. Tornados with uh, Heatran and Giardos are <laughs> very good uh, to allow the team for, for making damage. Mm -hmm. uh, Heatran and, well, Giardos cover the ground weakness of Heatran, also the, the water weakness and the fighting weakness, uh, now that, that I realized. And make a very good pair. And Garchomp alongside Gyarados and Tornados could spam Earthquake. Uh, and Pachurisu can protect Gyarados from electric types attacks. And then uh, Poggy has Tauros Paldea as its uh, fighting type. Dutch Boom as a fire immunity mom and also a fairy and uh, I think it's a very good super mom with snarl, with howl and body press. <laughs> and then Grookey, Banet and Infidin that, well, it's not the best, but I think they can be put in work. Yeah, in the right matchups course <clears throat> what do you think about this team so well i don't, I don't want to uh you know what's the word i don't i don't, I don't want to brag but like i i did help draft uh these top three teams well i did help draft myself uh <laughs> but yeah, this, oh my gosh, Tornadus, Heatran, and uh, Garchomp. I, I I think Tornadus is the best draft one. I'm going to say it. I think it's the best draft one. Uh, Prankster Tailwind is so, so powerful, and especially alongside Garchomp with the, uh, you could run Choice Band, you could run Earthquake, and uh, this team really does a good job in having synergy for Garchomp. Um, as well as Heatran, for every uh, every defensive switch in Garchomp could ever need. Um, uh, Pachirisu and Gyarados, it's a uh, it's a great um, great duo. Pachirisu with Follow Me could be valuable for all of the pieces on this team, except well, really Garchomp. But this team could use Terra Fly. Pretty, pretty effectively, right. um, especially on Tran and Pachirisu. Uh, that would allow the Garchomp to go ham even more than it already does. Um, yeah, this team really only lacks a good grass type, but I mean, Grookey can set its own terrain and it can fake out. <laughs> um, and that's all. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all it can do, so... <laughs> I think this team does... Oh, go ahead. No, one thing. Uh, I think you were planning on taking Tornados or Rillaboom. You changed your, you change it, your mind mm -hmm. before Poggy picked uh, Tornados or, or before? I think... Uh, well, Poggy Toad replaced in the middle of the draft. That coach got skipped, I think, two or three times in the oh, draft. Right, right. Um... So yeah, I I uh, decided to go with Rillaboom because it's easier to build around. Um, well, Tornadus obviously does have the mindless Tailwind and Earthquake and, you know, just spread attack spam. Um, but, like, you do have to prevent Trick Room from going up in order for this team to shine, which... Uh, Bennett does get in prison trick room, uh, but that's really about it for for the team. 
or yeah. But yeah, I think this team is very powerful. I'm excited to see how it does. I know they lost week one, um, but I'm excited to see them bounce back with this uh, this incredible team. Of course. And yeah, that's all I've got. Well, for uh, that's the the entire list, the power rankings of U Division. Uh, in first place, uh, Toronto Blue Toads. Second, Dallas Dutch Boom, Victorian Bullpix. Uh, the Rookies, New England Patriots, Villalanca Volcanoes, Executor, Toronto Tinkatings, Helsinki Dragons, Crobat Crew, Roman X Lasses, Orange County Osawats, Dino Nuggets, uh, Los Angeles Gravelers, I think it was the team, uh, Cleveland Dew Piders, and Cinnabar Cinderace. I uh, hope you enjoy our power rankings. Hope you take uh, in account our our advice, <laughs> or we. I think we don't want to offend anybody with our our takes. And right, uh, right. You want to add something quick? Well. These are just um, our objective opinions. Um, obviously, these do not define the rankings. So even if you were ranked low, do not be discouraged. Like, obviously, um, the player matters a lot. And um, a lot of things may have been overlooked in the rankings. Um, but yeah, um, don't be discouraged. Uh, all I would say is um, just Try your best, honestly. Anybody can make playoffs in this league. Um, and I'm really excited to see how everybody does. And uh, yeah, thank you, Mario, for uh, letting me letting me power rank alongside you for the season. Thank you to you and me and help me to, to, to do it. Of course. Well, uh, we'll see you uh, the next uh, weeks. Uh, and... Hope you enjoy this power rankings. Bye.